Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is how to connect multiple hubs with straight-through cables or crossover cables. First, let's talk about hubs and their older brother, repeaters. Both repeaters and hubs operate in the physical layer of the OSI model. They are dumb devices. They receive a signal and retransmit it without any data processing. All they do is regenerate signals they receive. They are used to extend a network segment so that the signal can cover a longer distance. A repeater is a hub with only two regular ports, and a hub is a repeater with multiple ports, often with uplink. Port. For example, this hub has four regular ports and one uplink port. Keep in mind, hubs are typically used in early Ethernet networks, such as 10Base5 or ThickNet or 10Base2 or ThinNet. We rarely see them on today's Ethernet networks. However, hubs can be used. To facilitate protocol analyzer to capture and analyze packets and data traffic over communication channel. Now we will talk about how to connect hubs on a network with two methods. Based on the 5-4-3 rule, no more than four hubs are allowed on a single collision domain. Let's see, we have four hubs and we want to connect them to expand a network. How to connect them? There are two methods. One method is to use straight-through cables, and the other is using crossover cables. Straight-through cables use one wiring standard. Both ends use either Type A or Type B. Unlike straight-through cables, crossover cables use two different wiring standards. One end uses Type A, and the other end uses Type B. First method, we use straight-through cables to connect hubs. Uplink ports are useful in this situation. To connect two hubs or multiple hubs, insert one end of a cable to the uplink port on one hub, and the other cable end to any. Regular port of another hub. We call this method daisy chain configuration. Using straight-through cables, we need to remember two things. One, do not connect two hubs by their uplink ports. Two, we cannot connect multiple hubs to a single central hub like this. A hierarchical tree configuration will not work. The second method uses crossover cables. Crossover cables make hub configurations more flexible than straight-through cables. One, with the crossover cables, we can connect two hubs by using regular port on each hub. We do not have to use uplink port. A hierarchical tree configuration will work. Two. With the crossover cables, we can still daisy chain these four hubs by using uplink ports, just like the daisy chain configuration used by method one. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much, and see you next time.